You are listening to Crow's Cast, a podcast by USF St. Petersburg's student newspaper, The Crow's Nest. This week, we'll be discussing university life. Welcome to The Crow's Cast, uh, university life. I'm the news editor at the Crow's Nest, Catherine Hicks, and I'm here with USF St. Petersburg's Director of Student Life and Engagement, Dwayne Isaacs. How are you doing today? I am doing well. Very excited to be here. I am, yeah. All right, we're going to start with just a quick lightning question. Um, What is your favorite part about USF St. Petersburg? Oh, the water, the water, the water, the campus. I there bar none. There are no there are not many campuses that have what we have in terms of location. Um, I like to tell students that they have the best campus ever because I consider downtown St. Pete a part of our campus. And so anyone that visits our campus is like, oh, my gosh, you work here. Oh, my gosh, you have boats. And like, oh, my gosh, you can go to you can walk down to arts and entertainment like, yeah, yeah, we can. Could you briefly describe some of the things you're involved in as a director of SLE? Yeah. So uh, when people think of student life engagement, it really doesn't matter what we call it. I, I have what I think are the cool areas to work with, which is the, the crow's nest, one, um, student government, multicultural affairs, harborside activities board, leadership and student organizations, and our uh, digital media team, our USF SP ambassadors are are now under student life and engagement. And so it's just a multitude of all of those areas combined. And we work with all of the campus programmers on campus and all of the other departments that put on programming to create those out of classrooms, memorable experiences, depending on what functional area they are interested in. So we try to just basically get folks to connect with one another outside of the classroom. It's, and it's it's a fantastic job. How has the year been so far in student life and engagement? You know, I, I think if we're talking about 2020 as a whole, just unexpected, wasn't prepared for uh, all the things that we would be navigating through. But, and this is a big but, but I also have never felt more resilient and like I can handle anything like that is thrown at me as a professional, as a, a black man, as a brother, family, son, friend, mentor. I think I have been stretched to different heights that I didn't realize that I would be stretched to different forms of thinking. So many really just powerful conversations that have helped to shape my thoughts on a lot of different perspectives. It also is an election year. So when you talk about student life and engagement, um, we've had an opportunity to engage in almost every one of those topics. But what we haven't had the opportunity to to do is engage in those topics um, in person. So I'm going to add on a, a layer to that question on what what am I looking forward to the most is the 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 point at which we can physically do things with one another on campus again. I think that is the bread and butter of student life engagement. That's what we do the best. And so we have been definitely doing the best we can, but we haven't been able to do our best work because of being, because of the virus. How has the online format changed how student life and engagement works? You know, what are just some differences? I think it just provided some opportunities that, that we never thought about before. We all know that it's a struggle and no one prefers to do this work when we're talking about student life and engagement because we are the co-curricular, we're outside of the classroom, right? And if the classroom feels the same as the engagement, then it's kind of like, well, what's the difference, you know? But on the positive side of things, we've learned uh, how to connect with more constituents. Um, There's been some, some folks, some students who have expressed that I normally never would have been able to attend this because I'm so busy, but because it's in this format, I'm able to do so. Yeah, we've learned that there's some opportunities that exist when we do get out of COVID-19, but we've also learned that the value of uh, being in person, and we'll probably never, you know, take that for granted again. What have been your main concerns about going into a virtual semester and trying to do what you were saying virtually? 
first and foremost, the mental health. There are student to student faculty, staff, anyone in this uh, pandemic that are struggling with not being able to connect. It's like a Floridian going all the way to Seattle and not seeing the sun for six months. That's just not going to be good for your mental health. You know, the sun gives you vitamin D. It makes it puts you in a positive mood. And I think that is the best way that I can equate what's happening to us. Um, so that is the, the biggest challenge that I would say, aside from the, the, the budget, the, the monetary impacts that it's had on folks and the monetary impacts that it will have on the university. I think that the biggest thing for me is just the mental health of folks. It's just been so tough. And that I would say is the most challenging part. Absolutely. I completely agree with you. I can definitely see how people have been struggling with it lately to move on from a heavy subject like that. How has turnout been for recent events? Yeah, so we're still collecting all that information for from some of our first 30 days events and week of welcome events. But I'll be completely transparent. Turnout is not what it used to be. Right. Um, and it's to be expected. Again, you know, I mean, you're a student you're in what two three hours of classes let's say you have three classes or two classes in a day it's very uh, it's highly improbable that you'll want to sit down for another two or three hour event in front of a computer like you'll want to take a break or maybe you would sit at the computer but you won't be as engaged um and so that is what you know we're we're noticing um in terms of turnout um, and this is not uncommon. This is, is very common on other institutions all across the country. We are asking to do a heavy lift um, and uh, we are the ones that keep students here, right? I think you cannot underestimate the power of the co-curricular experience and that students connect most of their memories with their collegiate experience with things going on outside of the classrooms, with things that they want to be involved with. Those are the things that they are, you know, wanting to explore or be passionate about in their club. And so it's something that we are monitoring very closely to be able to tell our story about, you know, why we might need to look at, you know, alternative methods of virtual engagement and really explore new ways to get students engaged, which is it's hard. And that's this kind of ties in with the next subject, which is um, student government recently had historically low turnout for their special election. What are your thoughts on that? And what are your hopes for the next special election? Yeah, my thoughts are not surprised, <laughs> not surprised at all. We are just going to continue to push as hard and as heavy as we can um, on our particular campus to get students engaged. Student government is one of those those areas where uh, students get to voice their concerns, they get to advocate on behalf of the, the USF St. Petersburg population. And so that hasn't gone away with consolidation. Um, and we just, normally we recruit first year students. Um, we have a lot of first year students who are interested and that just has been really difficult to, to reach students. Most are not on campus and the, the ones are on campus, we do a really good job of reaching. So we're only six months into it. And so we're still trying to figure out, OK, this is our landscape. What work, what what's going to work? What's not going to work? And we're still in that. And that that happens with any new change or new process. So is there anything else that you would like to share about student life and engagement this year? Just, you know, general. Please, 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 please stay involved, stay connected. We have just rolled out. This is like hot off the presses, but we now have a Canvas group so that students could easily see what's going on without getting multiple emails. You'll be able to connect with what's happening on campus with via announcements that we'll post about upcoming events and things like that right in your Canvas. You don't have to go anywhere. Um, we still have Pete Sync. That's where everything is. We still are going to be giving away free things. We still want students to connect and engage. We are doing all that we can to roll out some really cool, unique opportunities. So we have this virtual uh, kind of like The Sims. Have you ever played The Sims? It's called Deggy World that we are hoping to roll out, but a way for students to create like a little avatar and 
you know, walk around and engage. So we're, we're pulling out all the stuff. We're not going to quit. We're not going to let this pandemic get us down. We're not going to let low numbers or turnout get us down. We're going to keep active. We're going to keep trying to do what we do best. And yeah, that's what I would love people to know. And if anyone has ideas, we welcome them. Contact myself, contact Jerrica Stovall in my area. Go to uh, usfstpetersburg.edu slash student life. Our email, our contact information is there. Let us know what you want to see. We are here and ready to do it. Um, and then I guess so this is the final thing. Just would you have any general advice that you'd like to give students um, for the year? You kind of covered it already, but just a general. Yeah. yeah, do not give up. Do not let this pandemic get you down. It is tough. It is okay to be down. It's okay not to be okay reach out. We are here for you. You belong here. That is our theme for the year. I don't know. I probably should have started with that, that we want every student, both perspective, current and alumni to know that they belong at USF St. Pete. So uh, that is our theme for the year to me to make sure that students know that because we know it's tough. So if they don't feel like they belong where they are or whatever, just know that they have a home right here at USF St. Pete and we'll make sure that it feels like home. Awesome. Thank you so much for that and for your time. Absolutely. Take care. Thank you so much for having me. Don't forget, everybody, to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And tune in next week to Crowscast next week for a pop culture episode. Bye.